Where are we at, Sarah? It's fun. Woohoo! Hey guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori, and we are at Hairspray downtown. We're so excited to see it. Do we know what year the Ohio Theater was built? side seats like royalty but they don't let people sit in them anymore. I guess I was by I don't think it's safe. I think this building is that old. Okay, we're here. I need to decide that we're getting opera glasses. We're getting opera glasses because we're far out. Next show. Next show. And we're seeing hairspray today. This is our first of six or seven. We're not sure. I feel like more than that. And next month is Elf. We're singing in the store. And we're singing. We made it to intermission. So fun. I have a very tall person sitting in front of me. But I just keep doing this so I can see around him. I am loving this and I'm so excited that we got a whole season to look forward to. Now I just need a little more room and more coffee. Hi guys, I'm home. That was a fantastic show. I wish I could have shared some of the video with you, or, but it's prohibited. Um, if you're from around here, um, Nina West, she was on RuPaul's Drag Race. She is, um, she's a drag queen and she was Mrs. Turnblatt, Tracy's mom in the musical. And so it was a big crowd to see her. So that was exciting. We have season tickets. So next month we'll be seeing Elf. I think I said that. Okay. So I'm home and I went to the grocery store and I thought I would share with you. Um, I got some of this maple pecan pie coffee. We're going to try that. And if you're like low sugar, low carb, this is just made with flavors. There's no sweetener in here. I was looking at a message. Um, I need to make some food for the week, but for gifting purposes, I got some of my friends in Canada, some speculose cookies. They don't sell, there's no Aldi in Canada. And then I got some um, Stroop waffles. If you've never had these, these are fantastic. So these are gifting. I'm getting them ready to go out in the mail. For me, I got some keto crackers. I need to pack some lunches this week. I'm back at work a couple days. Plus, I'm working at my part-time job. So I thought what I would make is a hoagie in a bowl. If you know what that is, it's like a sub sandwich, depending on where you're from. We call them grinders in New England. They call them hoagies here in Ohio. Just a submarine sandwich, a big sandwich, but I'm making it in a bowl without bread because I don't eat bread. So I needed the ingredients. I thought that would be a nice something to have for the next few days. So I got red onion for that. I got some cheese to cut up, um, sharp cheddar and Swiss. And you can put in here whatever you like on your sandwich. Um, I got some Genoa salami, some turkey and ham. Now, normally in a hoagie bowl, you would get these at the deli like an inch thick and cube them up. But I'm not going to the grocery store. I went to Aldi, so I'll just eat it like this. It's fine. And then it says shredded lettuce, but I just got some of this chopped salad kit. It's got cabbage, kale, carrots, green onion, green leaf lettuce. So it kind of has some veg for me. So I got that to go in it. And mild banana peppers. I don't, these look a little anemic to me, so we're going to try one. They are mild, but they seem very white. Mm, that's good. They are a little soft than, softer than I like, but that's okay. That was what I had. So I grabbed that. And then the dressing, I got some Italian dressing. I'm just going to mix, or this is actually oil and vinegar. And I'm just going to mix it with some mayonnaise and make a dressing for that. Um, sorry, my nose, it's cold out. And then I got some stevia for my coffee because that's what I use. 
And I picked up cream cheese because I need that for a recipe. Oh, and then I got these and I'm not sure if I like them or not. They're just ginger keto bars. I was starving. I didn't have anything to eat before I went because I was busy this morning. I'm, just, I'm making coffee right now. Um, and there was really nothing there for me to have other than I had a cup of coffee, which is fine, but I needed some food and yeah. So basically I'm just going to cut up some lunch meat, um, put it in a bowl, chop up an onion, cut up some banana peppers, and then mix the a little bit of mayonnaise with some of this vinaigrette. I don't, I didn't have all the ingredients and I didn't want to buy all the individual ingredients for like a tablespoon. So I just bought some of that, which you can also use to marinate things. And I can show you the finished product when it's done, if you'd like. I got everything cubed up or chopped up. So there's pepper, uh, banana peppers, the salad mix, red onion, cheese cubed, um, salami, turkey, and ham. By the way, that maple pie coffee was gross. So I just brewed something else. Now, this is just oil and vinegar. You can make your own dressing. But like I said, I didn't have all the ingredients. I wasn't in the mood to go shopping for a bunch of seasonings and all of that when this is basically it. It's Italian dressing. But this is just oil and vinegar. There's no uh, sugar in it which is why I went with this brand. I thought what would taste really good is Olive Garden dressing. I have a Dollar Tree container and I think what I'll do, just put a little mayonnaise in there. I don't know, a couple tablespoons and some dressing, oil and vinegar, but I really want some of the spice from the bottom. So we'll do a quick upside down shake and we'll put some of that probably like that much because I don't know how much I'll need but that looks like a lot put it in here and shake it right and I think it might need a little more dressing oops the reason that Italian dressing sticks together better is there's ingredients that emulsify it. This dressing here, the mayonnaise is going to emulsify it and pull it together so that the oil and vinegar doesn't separate. And then I just whip it up and taste it. Mm, good. Could use some seasoning. So I just have your salt, pepper, garlic which I think will be perfect. Right? Right. A fresh fork, even though I'm the only one eating it. And it might need a little vinegar, a little more vinegar. Mm. Yep. I think it just needs a touch more vinegar. Okay. I do have red wine vinegar, which is good. I like that. Now this is to taste. I like, I like my dressing pretty tart. So for me, it's more vinegar, the better. Oh, I didn't get a fresh one. Oopsie, sorry. Again, I'm the only one eating this, so it doesn't matter. Perfect. Boom, oh, maybe we'll put, I got, oh, sorry, some floor de sol. Uh, Portuguese flake sea salt. Put some of that in there. And you just make it till it tastes good. I mean, if it doesn't taste good in here, it's certainly not going to taste better on your sandwich. Done. Ugh, my nose, guys. Now, what I'm going to do is just mix it up. Dressing. Now, you can always add more. It's very hard to take it away if you add too much, right? So, oh, you know what would have been good in this dressing too? Would have been some of the pickle juice from the pepper and chinos. So I feel like that looks good. 
It'll get better overnight as far as everything getting seasoned together, but let's take a little taster. That's good. Now I'll just add a touch more in case anything absorbs it. I don't feel like anything will, but because it's not pasta and there's no bread, but you never know. Stir it up and everything will marinate overnight. I'll put the lid on it and this will be lunch for the next few days. So I hope you kind of enjoyed that little impromptu cook with me. I mean, there was no cooking involved. There was a whole lot of cutting up the ingredients and throwing them in a bowl, but obviously if you want more lettuce, which I could add a little more, I have some left, so might as well. And this was a bag salad kit. I just threw away the dressing that came with it because I can't have that. It had sugar in it, but I can have this. And there we go, done and done. For the next couple days, I have hoagie in a bowl. And this will be perfect on the go food. And I'll have one more taste. Mmm. So good. All right, everybody. Have a good night. Talk to you later. Bye.